okay so there's the third part of the series and make sure you have the part one and part two okay so after this i'll release the last one and then i will start releasing some videos about logo designs you know 3d logo designs and a whole lot of that so kindly subscribe to this channel and without any further ado let's jump right into today's video okay so this is the first one and this should conclude i mean using circles and lines to create a logo all right so uh the second one will focus mainly on lines okay so let's so suppose this is my sketch on a piece of paper so i'll just lower the opacity and then go to object and lock it okay lock the selection lock the selection okay and let's grab the line segment to like this okay and then you see we want to start from here but the smart guide is saying you see it's kind of aligning something with this so this thing could sometimes be annoying it can't let you even start from here so you just go to view sometimes you just have to turn it off okay so that you have a free room so anyway let's drag click hold uh, shift on the keyboard to get a straight line like this and go drop this down and then choose one point good and now let's align it here okay and you can see here is a line and this guy looks like going if you check the logo up here you see this there's a shadow of your meaning it is going under it so you know anytime you see a straight line like this think of the line segment and in any curve that you see just think of an ellipse okay and then this is a straight line we are thinking of a line segment straight line and a matter of fact you could even select and then duplicate both of them to bring them here easy peasy <laughs> all right so let's select these two and then control c or you can go to copy and then paste in front okay and then you just rotate that and then you place them here okay so we have this now that we have okay so we are left with one i think should we use okay let's try and use like this and then here and we can duplicate one over here okay and if you want you can go ahead and close it up from here if you want you can close it up from here all right so this becomes our default grid okay and this is our sketch so with the golden circles you can just put in circles so we just grab one golden circle and don't worry if it doesn't fit you can resize okay so with this one you can go ahead and just um place it in here and sometimes to smart guys helps because you see the smart guys will actually help you in fitting it here so go to view and then you activate the smart guys and you know they pop up and they can help you you know pan things up and one thing is that always you have to make sure they are intersecting okay the intersection is there so let me highlight these two i think this guy oh, okay let's select this and select this line you see they are wayward so let's go to outline mode control y okay so this is it and we can just tweak it up so here is intersecting here is intersecting here is intersecting and this guy is not intersecting okay so let's help ourselves over there okay now control y to get out of that and duplicate let's duplicate this guy okay let's see if we can get 
it to cover this space right here so here is out of path can just tick that and here has to intersect very well else we are dead okay let me move it front and now here has to touch all right let me move it front until here it touches i think here intersect it's not intersecting okay so this guy has to in intersect very well let's go to control y now let's make sure it touches good and here there will be an intersection so okay and make sure it is not that big okay make sure it falls online okay control y and i think we are cool as for here you don't have to worry because this line takes it uh, takes care of it um are we duplicating that one no let's duplicate this one and don't worry you can resize it yeah so we just need that cable over there so let's check this is intersecting and this guy has to intersect and this guy goes out of so you just have to select it and is it intersecting now nah, it's not intersecting so let's go to control y and select it and then make sure it intersects good it's over here intersecting let's come down check these are some of the stressful things you go through when you're designing a logo so you have to charge very well because they don't know the pain you go through okay Is this intersecting? Let's go to the outline mode and select this guy. Make sure it's intersecting. Okay. And when you do this guy also okay, so you just get it. Because when you push this, this comes out and you push just keep pushing it so um you get that right because it is very necessary. So let's duplicate this guy up here to fit this circle why wouldn't you pan bro i think that's cool we got that at first okay so this is very simple and if you want you can just include the path right here so let me do that quickly all right okay so it has to you know intersect down here don't worry about that so right now you see this is what we have and any designer knows what they are looking for in this okay so what we need to do is just grab uh, select everything and grab the shape builder because you're coming to build a shape and when you look over here you can see let me bring this sorry let me bring this guy closer so that we take so it is just a gradient okay but from here to here is one single shape and we need to get that from this and from here to here is one single shape so we need to get that from this too and from here to here is also one single shape so we need to get that so let's select everything and grab the shape builder too so with this reference or if this was to be our sketch we just start from here and then end where the line cuts so it will start from here and end where the line cuts so we need to merge all these shapes together okay so with the pathfinder there is if you look at the kezza there's a plus at the bottom right you can start from here okay we just cross this line to get one single shape cross this cross this cross this okay don't come across the down one because we don't want th that's that's the different shape so cross up here and then always check for small details like this just cross them up 
and then you just join them to the bigger shape okay if you look closely here you see the intersection didn't work well so you can just add it to the sh bigger shape okay and add this guy to the bigger shape so that we have a very smooth curve over there we can even tweak it with the direct selection tool so let's zoom in here and then add these guys because i'm using the plus i'm adding them okay all right so you see these areas we don't want them so when you hold uh, when you press alt on the keyboard you can see check the cursor you can see it tends to minus so we hold tends to minus and then you just drag across all the boxes that you don't want and they get deleted all right so make sure you delete them out of the logo so we will delete them later let's focus on this so down here is one single shape as you can see from here so let's start adding them until we oh no i'm out of the way so add from here add 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 this guy has to be added zoom in over here this is out of the way so make sure you are using minus over here you should use plus if you come here it is outside okay there's no a shape there or oh, we don't want that shape so minus then you just cross only this one good due to tutorials you might not get the same thing as i'm getting but you have to go and look for tiny stuff like that yes so we have one single shape right here and we need this okay this guy right here let me zoom in and add them so let me add this guy right here okay and you see a minute detail let's add that and over here there's an empty space so we don't need to add anything we just need to subtract so when you hold alt on a the keyboard then you drag then you drag they might look like it is a shape but since you use um minus it is empty don't worry about that so let's add okay this and let's go ahead and add just don't want anything to lag okay so it is another shape good so one thing to help yourself is that since you've merged all the shapes don't uh waste your time deleting all this you can of course do that but just grab the uh, uh move to like that okay since you have your shapes you can just take this guy out you can just separate them like this so since you have them okay let me undo that you can just select this select this and select this so i've selected all the three you can drag them out okay and select everything then you hit delete on a keyboard all right and you have your shape right here i can bring it back so right now we just need to fill it with the gradient okay but what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm going to bring this guy behind it okay but first of all let me go to object and unlock all that i locked okay so that i would delete that image from there then place this guy there make sure i lock uh, you lock it okay so i'll go to object lock and lock the selection so we have our logo on that and we are going to select this guy it is set to stroke okay only the stroke so let's switch it to fill and let's click on the field to bring it to the front and this is just a simple gradient with whites and grays so i'll click on the gradient if you can't find the gradient go to windows make sure gradient is checked in the properties panel and we don't want these colors okay so i'll double click on this color stop and come to swatches and choose should i choose white okay let me choose white and come and double click on this guy and choose somewhere here now nah, let me go front let me go front all right so i can what i can do is grab the gradient tool from here okay and i can create my own gradient all right 
so if you start from here the shadow will come over here that's that's nice but i don't know let me let me drag it from here then we can adjust it here okay so let's push the white to the ash a little let's push it push it okay let's push the ash here so let's double click on this ash and make it a little bit higher so this is kind of okay let's grab the move tool and select this and you can use the eyedropper to click on this gradient and it will take a form of that so you see on this example here is white and here is um shadow or gray or like is it ash yeah <laughs> okay so let's change it from here and then you can see that let's select this guy i and then sample from here the gradient is moving from here to here if you select the gradient you can see it's moving from here to here but we don't want that so you can come over here and change it to 90 okay from the top to the down and we can push should we put, let's push this guy backward and all right so there we have it okay